Hello and welcome back to another video. Today, story time, we're going to talk about why you should buy yourself some new notebooks. And also, if you're curious, currently I'm going through this like phase, should I say, of like exploring new kinds of literature. I mean, I'm slowly venturing out of that kind of like classics echo chamber. I don't know, like that's been like a part of this brand, a part of this thing that I'm putting out there. But I think there's so many fun books to read. So the first book that I'm going to like really dig my heels into is Cor Cormac McCarthy's The Road. This is not like, this is a pretty well-known book, um, but I'm looking forward to using this as a leeway for me to like, uh, you know, catapult myself into this entire world of weird stuff. But anyhow, that's besides the point. Today's video, we are going to talk about why you should practice writing on a daily basis. This is just a story of how and why I've decided to apply myself to the craft of writing in a very systematic kind of way. So a lot of people, when they hear about pursuing something artistic or something theatrical or something rather, you know, ambitious, like writing fiction for a living or like becoming an actress or actor or becoming anything artistic, really, if you want to be a musician, if you want to write music for a living, if you want to be the next Bob Dylan, all that kind of good stuff. So there's this vision of like, the lightning striking you, right? The sky had all of a sudden opened up and you've been chosen by God. Yeah, there's that line of thinking, which I certainly to some extent do agree. You know, inspiration is important. Life has to touch you in some fashion for you to view life in a brand new, from a brand new perspective, essentially. And that perspective is kind of a perspective that, you know, is inaccessible to people that are just like going through their life as an exercise of getting from point A to point B. Artists are the people that can really see the kind of subtleties between the dichotomies. So yeah, that's what artists are doing. And that's what I think artists should keep on doing. But inspiration can only carry you so far because for writing, at least, I think there are two parts of this entire craft. There's like the crafty craft, like crafting prose, crafting letters, and crafting like how you express yourself and then you're mastering characters, mastering how you would construct characters and mastering all these kinds of theatrical techniques or like storytelling techniques. These are very complicated things and they deserve a lot of practice. They deserve a lot of like dedication, a lot of studying, a lot of critique, a lot of like feedback and a lot of back and forth with an editor that kicks your ass every Friday. There's definitely a lot of that happening. And I think that's how you can improve because the Dunning-Kruger effect suggests that when you first put words on a page, you're going to feel like you're that creative genius, right? This is like, the shit people think they're really good, like the slightly better people think they're really shit. So you're gonna have this really funny relationship with inspiration because how do you know if your inspiration is just fooling you, so to speak? How do you know if your inspiration is actually carrying you toward a better piece of work or could inspiration just be like a sham that, you know, it's making you feel good, it's making you feel like a creative genius, but it's actually not getting you anywhere. So that's the distinction that we have to make. Craft and inspiration. Craft is something that you can practice. Craft is something that you can get better at. And inspiration is this very sort of like neurotic thing that knocks on your door once in a while. So with that distinction made, here's like kind of a like the story of like what led me to this decision of like practicing writing in a very kind of like I don't know, hammer to the nail kind of way from now on, from now on to, you know, for the rest of my life, essentially, I am going to be writing every single day. And this is like a commitment to the craft because I know currently my storytelling, like the skill of storytelling is still pretty like primitive. I, I still have to like take writing classes. I still have to go to critique groups. I still have to, you know, figure this shit out before I can tell it, tell an okay story. So what happened a few months back was that I completed the first draft of Those Wanders with Letters, which is a which is a new novel, which I haven't talked about, which I haven't talked much about. It's a pile of crap right now, but eventually I'll shape it into something. It's a first draft, so it's a pile of hot steaming garbage. So I finished that and I sort of entered this really, really mellowed out period of just producing nothing. No writing, just a lot of like essays and nonfiction reflections. Um, but nothing creatively exciting. You know, when you're writing a novel, it's kind of like you constructing something out of nothing. And that's something really exciting. But I haven't had that for five to six months. And it was on one hand frustrating. On another hand, it really had me doubting, you know, do I have anything in me? Do I actually have this craft of storytelling um, in me? Do I have what it takes? That's the big question. It wasn't until I was in a call with, you know, some of my friends, um, 
And basically I was talking about this like creative block and one of them just said to me, why don't you just construct a story out of three elements? And this person basically gave me three elements, a dragonfly, a bowl of soup and a tragedy. So those were the three elements and she wanted me to craft a story on a spot. You know, she gave me like 500 words. It's kind of like flash fiction. With three elements in mind, I basically drafted a story on a spot and the story I'll probably post it in this week's newsletter. Um, it's it's not quite there yet, but as I was writing a story, I could really feel like that creative juice flowing back, you know. It was the first time in five to six months where I was able to sit down and write a story out of three elements. So I sat there and I was like, holy shit, this is amazing. This is like groundbreaking. Because right then and there, I've kind of realized craft and inspiration, they're kind of like two different things. Craft is something that you can just like turn on automatically, right? Craft is something that you possess inherently. Um, the craft of crafting a story and, you know, crafting conflict and a resolution and then constructing characters. That's like, that's a physical skill that you have, that you have to practice. It's kind of like practicing the piano, really. When you first sit down to practice a piece, it's always jaggered. It's always like a little weird to play the keys for the first time, you know, if you're playing a new piece. As you're comfortable with the notes, as you're comfortable with the scales and the chords and whatnot, um, you can kind of let yourself go. And then like the movements become rather automatic. And then you can bring in your emotion, your like movements and the kind of like expressiveness that you bring into a piece of music. Same with writing. The awkward stuff of setting words down on a page, that's like the craft aspect of writing. And there's the inspiration aspect. When inspiration strikes, you want to make sure that you actually have to craft down to kind of like catch that inspiration. So that basically led me to the decision of really practicing the shit out of the craft of storytelling before, you know, I catch an idea that's worth pursuing. And that's why I bought myself three new notebooks. And these are, you know, these are really great notebooks. Um, so I carry one of these around wherever I go. And every morning I'll wake up a little earlier and I would draft basically a flash short story every single morning. It's kind of like clockwork, you know, pulling something out of a hat and just constructing a story out of that. If I combine a study with practice, which I am currently doing every, every single morning, um, yeah, I feel like this is gonna get me somewhere in terms of um, telling great stories. And I always feel like there's there's a sense of security in knowing that I am moving toward this ultimate ultimate goal of becoming a great storyteller. It's like I'm making tangible steps, right? Even though, you know, 90% of these stories, they're gonna be really, really bad, but it's still the case that I'm gonna sit my ass down and I'm gonna write. And I feel like that's the best that a, that a writer should do. Just sit your ass down in a chair and write. That's the reality of writing. All the all these imageries that you've associated with the image of a writer, they don't fucking exist. It's just you and a page, man. And <laughs> you, the pen and the page, that's it. And you have to study the masters and you have to study the craft of storytelling. You have to practice it. It's just like playing the basketball. And maybe one day you can write something decent eventually. And But inspiration in this case doesn't excuse you from hard work. At least that's my perspective. I'm pretty hard nosed, kind of like, I need to get this done kind of guy. So yeah, I'm really excited for this new kind of like brutal writing routine, but I feel like this is, this is lighting a fire under my ass, which is really, really damn exciting. So that's all I have for this week. Expect more videos in the future like this one, like documentation of the writer's journey. And also because we are out of lockdown right now, I am actually back to back to work. So I won't actually have time to sit down and, you know, draw out long winded discussions on philosophies and whatnot. So in a future video is gonna be like semi documentation based, which I've been doing for a little while now. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm reading. I'm gonna show you guys, you know, the results of practicing storytelling in this, <laughs> in this fashion. But I'm really damn excited to document everything that's about to come. I'm really excited to, document every step of the journey. And I hope you're having a great week so far, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.